So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use and how to get the source code for this new course that I'm making for the UI testing with uh, Espresso and Android X course. I'll show you how to, how to get the code, how to use the code, how to bring it into Android Studio and how to uh, what to do if you get stuck. So where to look uh, code wise if you get stuck on this project. And we are also going to, we're going to need to do something kind of like a prerequisite before we start this course. Uh, it's just like a small thing that you just need to make sure that you do before you start running any UI tests. So when you run UI tests on the emulator, we need to disable certain animations because they can cause issues uh, when the tests are running because it's actually using the Android framework and the, the, the animations when you like transition to fragments or show the progress bar, things like that can disrupt those tests. So we need to disable them on the emulator that we're going to be using. It's uh, not a big deal. It takes like, you know, 30 seconds. So let's, uh, let's start with where, where are you going to get the code? Actually, one more thing before we start, I should mention just for those of you who are watching this on YouTube and you aren't aware of what course this is for what's going on here um, I have a UI testing course for beginners on Android uh, I'm publishing it to both YouTube and my website if you want to watch the whole course it, it gives you kind of a beginner's look on how to get started writing your first UI test with espresso on Android and the new uh, kind of Android X test stuff that they've been implementing lately so if you want to watch the course you can go to my website codingwithmitch.com you'll find it there espresso for beginners or you can go to my YouTube and just search uh, UI UI testing or espresso on my YouTube channel and you'll find the playlist and that will contain all the videos. So uh, now let's uh, let's get started. All right. So to get the code, you want to go to my GitHub page. You can just go to there'll be a by the way, there'll be a link in the description description of every video. So uh, no matter what, if you are lost on a single video, just check in the description and there'll be a, a link to that exact code for that video. So um, if you want to take a look at the code yourself or if you want to check it out into Android Studio, which is what I recommend doing, go to my GitHub uh, UI or Espresso UI test examples is the repository. And if you click on all the branches here, you'll notice that all of the lectures will have a corresponding branch. So by the end of that lecture, uh, there's a there's a branch on Git that represents that code. So if you want to just check it out from version control, which is what I I um, I recommend doing. Uh, just click clone or download, get this link and open up Android Studio. I have it open already here and you want to go to new, go to uh, project from version control and then click on Git. And then you just want to paste that link in there and, and clone the repository. You can also open Android Studio, like a fresh version of Android Studio. So I'll just close mine here. I don't know how long you've been waiting, probably 20 seconds. There we go. It's back up now. So here we have Android Studio on the screen. I have that that uh, repository uh, copied. You just go to check out from version control, click on Git, and then you would paste the link in as soon as this, uh, this window pops up and click clone. So then once you do have that open, you'll be looking at exactly what I'll have open in just a second here. And you'll be able to select whatever branch for whatever lecture that that you're on. But like I said, every single lecture that I make in the course, there'll be a link in the description. Whether you're watching this on my website or you're watching this on YouTube, it doesn't matter. There'll be a link in the description of the video and you'll be able to get the branch for that video. So as soon as this finishes loading up here, I'll show you how you can switch branches. Um, should be able to do it now. So down here in the bottom right corner, if you click on this, it opens up all the branches for the course. So you would just click on, you know, whatever one is corresponding to the lecture that you're on and the, the code will update in Android Studio accordingly. And you can just take a look at it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, a lot of people uh, like the way I, I do this in my courses. All right, so now now the animation. So like I said, uh, we need to disable animations on an emulator that you're running. So if you don't have an emulator open right now, you're going to want to open Android Studio. Uh, choose an emulator that you want to use for this course. Just use the same one for all of the tests. Um, if you want to use multiple tests, you can, obviously, because in a, in a real scenario, you're going to be using multiple devices anyway. But I want to show you how to use Firebase Test Lab for those kind of scenarios. But, um, but anyway, so go up to uh, tools, launch the AVD manager, and then choose, choose an emulator. Choose one of your emulators that you want to do kind of all the testing with. I chose this one, the Pixel XL API 28, not for any reasons, just typically the one that I use. So click the play button and launch it. And once you have your emulator running, uh, you're gonna wanna go into, into settings. 
and go to, so this is gonna be different on every phone. So just go into settings, go into system, where go wherever you need to go to get to developer options. This is what you wanna find right here, developer options. Uh, if you're testing on a real device, it'll be the same thing. Every device has developer options somewhere. So you'll click on developer options and you wanna scroll down to um, the, it's not animations, it's um, drawing. So go down to this drawing section here. The three that you wanna turn off is window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. Turn all three of those off because they can disrupt our UI tests. So once you have those off, just close settings and you'll be ready to uh, proceed with the course. So that is all you need to know to get started. Let's, um, let's get started with the course.